Well, good morning, Karuba, back to Y254 TV. Just in case you're getting to join us, I'm sorry you've missed the first segment with, with Sako, but you've not missed a lot because we still have so much in store for you. But this week's episode of Spot on Tech, we get to feature Keith Baraka, who is, C who is the CEO of Peter Technologies and Grammy Properties, Karibu Sena. Asante Sana. Tell us um, what is what is Grammy Properties and CEO um, because your Nini says you're CEO of Pizza Technologies and Grammy Properties. So we can probably start from the point here. What is? Yeah, Kwanza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm wondering where where do I want to start? Yeah, Kwanza, my opinion. Okay, we can start with Kwanza. Kwanza, Kwanza. Um, Pizza Technologies. It's a company. It's an AI-based company. Um, Kusabu, when I was building the company, one really realized Kenya we have so little AI-based companies. What an AI? Sorry. AI, artificial intelligence. Okay. I, I, I personally yeah. nearly floated. I'm sure someone floated. We took we took a mark in a chat GPT. Oh. Yeah, oh. Well. Okay. So we are a company that use such um, systems to develop our apps, our games, and everything. And we've discovered that it's actually effective. It's effective. We, we know Masana out here. So, I'm, I'm still trying to move on from the fact that Peter, like, not Peter Akukula. Si, si Akukula. Ni juna penda chakula bana. Aye, maybe I'm here. Maybe I, I soup the pizza, whatever, and I knew I soup it when pizza in the studio. Wow. Aye, aye, aye. No, it's just a company. Like it's a company name. So why did you choose that name, though? I love, I love pizza. I really love pizza. Like that's my go-to meal at any given moment that I am ordering takeout or anything. I will go for pizza. Yeah. So that's why you named. It. Interesting, yes. interesting. So when did you start the company? Twenty nineteen. Give us the story, like um, to towards starting up the company. I love stories. Well, I once told my mom that I'd never be employed. Never. And so now African parents, like, you must be employed. Who, how dare you say you'll never be employed? Yeah. And I was like, I will never be employed. And they thought I was joking about it. And out here, people of our age, unai, unenda kutafta job unambua. We need five years experience. Now umetoka tu shule, unai, five years experience aji sasa. So I was like, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to create my own venture in such a way that I can create for people jobs. And I will never actually ask for people uh, to experience five years experience when I feel like happy. Experience. Unaweza kutali kwa na kunya chai tu ya nini? Chai ya kampuni hizo miaka tano bana. So, I have students who uh, like work for me and I outsource a lot actually. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, no process. Okay. <laughs> artificial intelligence. So um, the, 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 the company was started because you didn't I want to get employed. And now you have students. You don't have full-time employees? No, I do. But in Kidogo, sana. Why? I'm, I'm targeting students. Because I'm a student who is in struggle. Mm -hmm. I don't survive on popcorn and nini, na spinach. I make sense, Masi. So you want to mix. <laughs> you, want <laughs> to actually, <laughs> you want to actually make um, life bearable for them. Therefore, at Okim Lipa, maybe um, that 30K or that 40K on a job done, it's better than when they are getting nothing. And they are surviving on hell, Balur. So um, why, of all the things you could have done, like in terms of unge develop kituingine uh, or another software, why did you choose AI? AI is a, is a feature. You end up as a tomorrow. Because every app ukienda, it always has a machine learning sequence. It understands who you are and what you do. Ukienda YouTube, there is the way your feed is different from my feed. Where kuna vitu zinyo na taftanga zinyo nyo nyo pika yako na joke ubono na wachingi. And then kuna mimi. So it has the use of AI machine learning to actually understand what you like, create an algorithm for it, and then bring back the information. 
that's why I chose to take that direction because I want to personalize my apps with people. I'm I'm working on some two apps, Sita Sema Gina, Sita Sema, their concept or anything, but they are using AI to better the lives of people. So, um, um, allow me to understand, or even for the purpose of our viewer, okay. AI doesn't just deal with chat, chat GP. What, what does it, what does it, or in case you just getting to hear this, AI is artificial intelligence. So what, what entails AI? You know, sometimes to no end, we assume that everyone really understands what we are talking about, and then someone is wondering, so your AI, so ni, 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 ni chat GTP peke yake or something? Apana. AI, actually, kuja kitambu. If you like movies, there is a movie, kitambu, ya Will Smith, ilikuwa inetua iRobot. Okay, so me, okay, that was the first time, like, personally, I came into contact with the concept of AI. It's an artificial intelligence. It works like, um, there are some things called neural networks, also known as the brain of a computer in ways that it actually understands and learns. Um, if you've used iPhone, there is Siri, there mm. is Bixby for Samsung, there is Google Assistant for other Android phones, there is also Amazon Alexa. Those are with Nini Kama AI in its own way. Now, AI is a, it's a computer created to actually understand the mind of a human being and run uh, with learning. Kama vile binadamu wata learn. Yeah. So, kukonaka gadget ndani ya yo. Everyone's, there is like a brain in everyone's, um, what do we call it? Phone. In, yes, gadget. Yes. In everyone's gadget, I was looking for that one. Yes. Whether it's a phone or it's an iPad or it's a laptop. Or it's a that watch. That keeps, keeps... Keeps tabs on what you do. So what happens mm -hmm. when um, you have been... When I get your phone and they start using it, how fast does that change? If you get my phone, you have to use it for a while. A duration of time. For like how long? Hakuna vile utaamka tu asubuhi moja uchukue simu yangu utumie one hour and you expect that preferences will change maybe a day once you have used it for that whole day it knows what you are doing therefore it will give you suggestions on that which you are doing that brings me to this to something i have seen maybe um i'll be on a call talking to someone about something or um for us women we have this up your flow of course, you're, you're a Nini a software developer, so you, you, yeah. you know. So there's this app here, Women Called Flow. So I'll probably be talking to a woman or talking to a friend or something, telling them about the changes I'm experiencing in my body or something. You know, maybe I missed a period or I'm, I'm here, I'm fidgety about pregnancy. And then when I go to check that app or, or when I'm just using my phone, I notice it brings me... Like, Story to look what now or what we were talking about mm -hmm. is what is displayed on that on that app or the suggestion it brings. How does that work? Uh, so kuna kwa gana in app um, notifications zile al zile unafanya ngo allow the allow allowances zina kwa gana zo. So if I've never seen it on iPhone though, but I've seen it on Android a lot. It even actually asks for uh, access to your calls. Yes. Therefore, it, it does, can listen it in on your calls. It knows what you're talking about. Then it will give you um, like suggestions on what to do. Way later. It akumbuka to on it. So does it tap into your mic? Yes, it does. Is it safe? No, it's not. But it's kind of safe. Uh, Nivile... it, it's creepy. Oh, yes, it is creepy. Nivile, you know, Google has to listen in. Apple listens in. Security measures. Ndiyo mana unasikianga okipiga simu leo useme. But then ilikuwa na bomb place flani. And this is what and this and this is what I did with it. And if you check in that place, maybe it will blow up. Mwazo utakujiwa. Utakamiwa. Hey! Hey! You dare do that. Most likely, ata safari kom actually listens in. So, sa zingine you will hear maybe uh, like static sounds of sorts. At that point, you know now they are they are actually paying attention to you. What are you? Gotcha. So this when we use, I'm really learning a lot when we use our phones because I've seen the things I see. I'm like allow, don't allow, or 
um so do you what would like to track your no it's your notifications or track i see it on yes. my phone a lot mm -hmm. there's something i will open an app and then it will ask me so do you allow this to track so do you what then i'm always like allow or don't allow w what are those things about it's because allowed. we see them on our phones mm -hmm. but we don't understand them now you have the knowledge to explain to us you giving it's like ni kama vile mtu yeye anaweza kama kuambia mom nataka kwenda kucheza na friends wangu it's either you to give them permission or to decline that permission send you uh -huh. that's the same way it works it comes and asks you for permission therefore and because and i know this for a fact hakuna mkenya atawai kuja kusoma the the uh, like the services the, the ni policy services ah, me, the, there's literally no one who will actually do it yes you just oh yes yes agree yes agree yes, yes agree <laughs> but that's what i do personally personally i don't i read i read it through but let me ask you i will read it but i won't understand nothing so what's the point of reading it <laughs> there are policies you will actually understand so what's the point of like what's the point of having those policies those policies are there for number one google Play Store and App Store, they usually ask for those policies so that they see whether it's safe. There's okay. Um, around January, I was trying to upload an app on Play Store. Mbaka sa hizi upload, kwa sababu those specific policies zilikuwa zinakataana, and my guys are still working on it. Um, so that it's a it's a game. It's, it's a very simple game offline as of today. But the policy, kuna mahali, I think, kuna mmoja yetu alikosea. Google ikaanza kufikiria its pedophile. Ni hivu. The app will not work. So it's just um, a system where it wants to ensure the safety of the user. Because AI is learn. If you've used AI, it definitely will go learning most of the time. If you go online, utaona ads. Sa zingine, utakaa kesi kesi uone ads za vitu unapenda mara kilimol na kilimol ikikam inakuletea masimu peke yake umekuwa ukisearch simu or mimi mimi nimekuletea nimekuletea DSTV na DSTV inakuletea the food channel umekuwa ukisearch chakula unaona so it learns it learns from what you do and the more it learns the more it evolves the more it evolves it adapts it after a point it adapt igiuke kama there was a There's an AI built by Microsoft sometime back called Taj. Taj was a female. Taj was placed in on Twitter just randomly. Alafu ka kwa Ilan. Ilikuwa trolled mpaka ikaanza kuwa racist. Ikakuwa racist so bad and vulgar and everything that they had to suspend it. And like stop the development. Oh wow. Yeah. So um That brings me to this point where we see allow Google to locate your location do you what to nini your location to the, I've seen that notification a lot especially when I want to check something maybe ni Google um maps let me just do it right now so okay. that I tell you what it says mm -hmm. when you google a place like maybe you say a hotel flani so nikiandika it will tell me allow Google to nini your location to inaitwa nini to find your location yes allow google to nini your location and i'm like why does it ask that okay is it dangerous to me does it pose any risk to me no it doesn't actually it's a security measure it wants to know where you are so that it can give you maybe you're looking for a direction uh -huh. it will give you the exact like it will pinpoint you from where you are to where you want to go how long it will take what traffic is there it will give you all that yeah so this is what it says mm -hmm. google.com would like to use your current location the website will use your precise location because safari currently has access to your precise location so don't allow or allow no, no. in that scenario what am i what am i supposed to do entirely your choice personally i never allow so okay so what's the repercussion of allowing and not allowing allowing inafanya wajue kwenye huko wakijua kwenye huko there is a lot um, i learned this the hard way 
there was a time I was looking for zile vitu za kufanya tu online getting extra cash hapa na pale and then I found a site which allows me to earn from reviewing stuff but ilikuwa site hapa juu the first time when I placed Kenya unajua kitu ilikataa kunipatia kazi like in Nambia two there is nothing we like we not even hiring so I was like hmm, okay so I reset the system when Google actually asked me to find my location the next time I said no na nikawasha VPN VPN ikaonyesha niko US ili nipatie kazi oh wow yeah. it's quite interesting now i am understanding a lot of things i see on my phone i'm like allow don't allow i'm always like okay ina kaje for lack of a better like for lack of knowledge let me just say that out of ignorance me i'm always don't allow don't allow because we will go pananza ngakujambia maybe probably it's someone who wants to hack my phone or my data goes out there to 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 the wrong hands but is there a is there a relationship between what you do on your phone and those allows don't allows whatever 100%. So do they have uh, access to what I'm doing on my phone? Not always. Unless they really need to get access for your like your data and everything, they never bother about it. So um this brings me to a very touchy subject. Adult content. Ah. Um we we find ourselves we either they are there they are that that brings me to adult content and betting that is gambling 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 content you will realize it tells you a uh, substantiate here that you're 18 years or older and then it tell you say you tell it okay then it keep rolling and then it brings something else and brings something else does that pose a risk that one is very risky actually now um where you get the viruses where hackers wana kuaga tu wamekaa wana kungojea huko ndo wana kuanga umetulia at some point i was a hacker and we usually use uh, a, 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 so, a like a technology called steganography where we put photos hivi leo napatanga ka picha ka ad kama kama hapo hivyo alafu wewe na kierere yako tu yote unaigusa bas umetupatia every access to your phone like that or every access to your device hivyo tu na unakaa hivi unaona mashine imeanza kukufa unashindwa kunaenda ji kuna msitu fulani anakutesa mahali and most of the time it will lose data a lot of data for you wow might i have been hacked come to think of it because my data nowadays hacked. every single human being has been hacked myself included though me i hacked back <laughs> <laughs> so those of us that don't know how to hack back uh, wa hey, is any bana takwambia hivyo everyone has been hacked one way or another there's a point i realized that i was losing data very fast very fast because now i buy buy 30 gb for a month i realized that 30 gb my 30 gb will spend like 25 days there about 25 26 days but now mm. i'm buying 30 gb twice thrice one month eh kwani inaisha within 14 days i'm not browsing i'm not doing nothing there's nothing but i don't understand why where my data in end nika close nika restart nika up refresh nika fanya kila kitu nothing so i might have been hacked <laughs> just tell me the hard truth <laughs> i will just plain, plainly tell you your simu si yako anymore either you reset it and start again or or no no to ingine who gives the email address and everything all together So in the in the scenario where I, someone is hacked what are they supposed to do um, usually if you reset your phone it changes the serial number therefore we are unable to get it so you just go ahead and reset the whole phone you just suck up you reset everything kubali ku lose data it is sawa tu by the way man ouch i i bought my phone in 2019 when it was just it was released wave kwa market at that time it was the talk of town huh. so i have things i have kept from 2019 especially conversations i am a wow. keeper from 2019 to 2023 i'm usually thinking about losing it and i'm like okay so what 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 someone would do in the case that they are hacked is resetting the entire phone failure to which 
you, you no, coexist no. with your hacker. <laughs> Maybe you just come to an agreement. Una vile there are some places where una unaishi tu na maende wanaishi tu rent free na wewe. You just have to do that. Right? What's the worst that can happen in a hacking case? In like a hacking when case. someone has hacked your phone. Uh, the worst that can happen. Um, your phone. If you're using iPhone kuna kwa gana hii app ya wallet. Yeah. Wallet. Mhm. Mm wallet holds at actually at any any like google based device wallet holds your cards it has your maybe passports your tickets everything your cards are there your cards contain cash do you do you do you do like purchases yeah. um, maybe by tapping your phone and everything mm. peer hacker can have that same access as you au unajua akaamua tu anachukua loan bank au taamini uh and there's nothing you'll do jeez there's out outrage nothing you'll do there was a time um december i was in school in dubs um i was finishing up up, up my uh, masters so standard chartered wali lock nini account yangu at some point i had to fly back home to come and sort it out huko sababu mimi ni branch ya huko hakuna vile naweza enda branch ya dubs and everything so i had to come back here and then they actually told me that they locked every account ya mse mwenye alikuwa abroad for longer than two months because there was a hack case of someone who lost 5 million in their account yale tumiwa email it was someone hacked yes yale tumiwa email akafungua email hiyo email ikari direct um say ikari direct hacker kwa bank um say alitoa do si mchezo like yes My like face. the the transaction ilishikwa at a, at, a, at a point it was at around 4.6 but ilikuwa ishaenda and yeah. there was no going back so ile bidi nimegeuza my cards and everything to actually accommodate my international stay so that to see someone Hey. Sasa, let me ask you what would you say common one and she does because now someone like me have never known to tweak or exist with our phones and we could co coexist with our hackers you know we, we we do things and we allow we allow we allow or we don't allow allow or we read it and we don't or we don't even read it we are ignorant we go agree agree yes 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 okay fine you know you saw that you tick the boxes very fast you move on like you want to reset or restart your phone or something and it keeps asking or you changing your google address google will keep telling you this long list of <laughs> so what will you advise such a person because now we are mwananchi mwenye address or knowledge number one, google will always assist, try to assist you you know man wana uliza ngezo swali number two, try hata kama hata kama uta, uta, uta soma tu kiasi soma find out like the repercussions before you actually accept or deny number three, aki usiguse ad ukutana ad wachana nayo hapo ndio ukai search za zingine lakini wachana nayo hapo number four, um, if you can actually have a two step verification please do that it how do you activate it usually if you are not up to self verification in akwanga kwa settings actually for everything in akwanga tu kwa settings mahali so on all the applications you have like check settings check settings kama iko kama haiko it was not built with it tumesema two steps verification yes. we've not even explain nini ni tumeasi two step verification is uh, if you're using an online based app it's where it sends you a one time password otps to your text or email if you maybe sana sana if you're doing transactions that's when it will come or maybe it's your instagram in a kwagana specific six digit code that changes after every one minute that's also effective for uh, go any google situation or facebook social media basically yeah why hey i think we need we need a whole session to talk about to talk about a lot a lot of things yeah. but now i'm being told time is not on our side and i want to ask mm -hmm. what what what's what's the data protection data protection has been something that has been 
talked about, especially this week, a lot on, on the on the on the news. It's been making it's been making headlines. Of course, you've told us how we can be data protected. Now, um, is there a way? Is there a way we can help someone who's already in a situation? Yes. Um, compare to like just reset your machine. If that doesn't work, um, there's the normal reset. There's a soft reset, your settings and everything. That will never work. I don't need to compare too quickly. Hard reset your machine. If you can use a laptop, if you can use a unazenda kofundi, like while you're your opinion as a buy sim and everything, they will reset the, the, lap, the phone for you or the laptop for you. Laptop, you can store it too flat. Though. That's a thing because you have to change the whole operating system, place a new one, then get your data. Like you can use data to be careful because that's where is on like the malware is not going to feature. So what's what's the difference between data privacy and data protection? Data protection, you could be chunga to like data privacy. It's just could be chunga entirely. Privacy is just come over when you have a phone and you have privacy glass. You make a comment. You say when you can do a quick one. Bus. That, that, that is just privacy. And then protection is where atakama na ona kunekito na zafanya na Do you think we need to have um, talks on data protection in in our institutions or just civic education? Yes. How effective will that be? Very effective. Because um, in school, even for the cyber security classes and everything, you're taught. And then you're told, whatever you do, that information is on your own. Now, if you have integrity, but if you choose to become a black attacker, where all the money is, well, that's a whole different thing. No, no. So um, I feel like it's, it would actually assist because number one, what to have to, like, one of the data, mzee kupata data yako sai, sai zika wewe, mpati ya mtu wa kudiem, sindio, asha kudiem, na mtu wa taindale kusumbua on information yako. So, therefore, you protect your data in such a way that don't tell everyone everything about you. Mm -hmm. People need to know that. People need to know the importance of um, keeping yourself and your staff private. Private enough not to just um, get into the public. Kuna ile kupatana in public, kuna ile ku... Ushepiti ya tau, kagongo, alafu, kafuka homu, kapatana na horror movie, hauna simu. <laughs> yes. Your design. And now you can, and because if they take your phone, they have everything of yours. There's a time mini lifanyiwa evil. I just walked into a cyber and locked the phone. Evil. Oh. And then nikatulia, around a week, nikanonua simu ingine, nikachukua data yote, nikaeka. And you get that, that phone vile mifungwa evil, umse hata hezi user. Ata akiuza, ata yuza na thautatu. Kwa ya meenda loo sata. What's the point? I think it's just a whole conversation we people need to have to protect themselves. So what else do you do? I'm a real estate. I'm the CEO of Grimmie Properties. But it's a co-CEO situation, co-director situation with my sis, my younger sis. Um, we do reviews on YouTube in it agree me property show and we also sell houses we develop as well. Yeah. Amazing. Wow. I feel like we need to wrap this conversation but I'm still shocked. I'm still in that place of artificial intelligence. It's beyond what we think. You know, when someone mentions artificial intelligence, I used to reach at GTP in Dilakuja. Ni GTP ama ni GPT. GPT, yes, that's what comes to my mind. But it's, I've realized that it's quite it's a whole. It's very. It's a very broad subject. It's a whole ecosystem. Yeah. It's a very broad subject. It's not just chat GTP. G GP. GPT. I'm done. You're, you're it's in over. A tongue it's, it's over. It's over. I'm done. It's over. Yeah. But I'd want you to give us a parting shot. Aha. Uh -huh. um, stay safe. Don't give everything of yours to people as a, like it's yours see how vile mwizi anakujanga unajuni ukasikia kumuuliza um cheki mbona unaniibia kwani niko nafanya kazi juu yako you know like it's yours it's not theirs uh, keep your stuff private 
keep your maybe relationship private keep keep your life private in general hey me I'll stop sharing who's me I talk me I share I learn who you are around with like observe before we bado pige kelele wonge uh, mm. learn uko around nani mm. kama uko around watu wenye mmezayana piga kelele yote kwa mwendo wazimu haina shida but uko in an environment where you don't know anyone tulia tulia it's important you don't know who is listening all have ears hey they do tell us your social media handles use that come up um keith blessings keith underscore blessings and uh, baraka his highness for my instagram pizza technologies still instagram and grimy properties on instagram Uh, kuna Pizza Technologies on YouTube, Grammy Property Show on YouTube. Mimi ni hizo tu. Hizi nyes tu miangi. Hey, any other thing you want to say? Sina neno. Okay. okay. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for sharing the knowledge. Hey, I'm enlightened. I will stop liking, allowing, allowing and okaying everything without treating. I I now know better. You know, yeah, it means a lot. Thank you. Okay. That was Keith Baraka uh, talking to us about artificial intelligence. And man, if you've been allowing, allowing, and okaying, and agreeing without reading, like <laughs> yours truly, please, it's time to change. And of course, I love the um, the conclusion, concluding parting shot he gave us that. Don't share everything about yourself. N- learn the environment you're in. Know who is seated next to you because what you're sharing might be used against you. 